my Michelle Ruiz, and I'm here with Brian Elliott, Hello. who is an entrepreneur, and um, his company is called Behind the Brand, and um, we've been meeting because we are talking about collaborating and how we're going to work together because we're both focused on entrepreneurship and right. uh, business owners, um, and he's got a terrific company with Behind the Brand, so I wanted to... Um, share with you a little bit about uh, the tips and knowledge that he has since you're an entrepreneur. So tell me a little bit about Behind the Brand. Well, Behind the Brand is an inside look at the people who are making things happen. And uh, my tip for you, or for business people who are watching this, uh, is LinkedIn. Uh, it's L-I-N-K-E-D-I-N.com. LinkedIn is like Facebook, a social platform where people, business people can connect, but uh, different from Facebook. It's strictly business, and it's a really great free tool that um, you can use to connect with people that you want to find. As an example, behind the brand, you know, we're reaching out to brands and the people behind those brands, and I don't always have a relationship with them. So how do I reach the, you know, head of marketing, CMO at Nabisco, or CMO at Kodak, or any of these big companies, or small companies? LinkedIn can be the answer. So what you do is you create a free profile, it's kind of like Facebook, you know, upload a picture. And the key, I think, with LinkedIn, um, to make sure that you've got the maximum, you know, SEO power and, and also um, search finding capabilities. You want to mm -hmm. fill out your profile 100%. With keywords. Make it really rich with keywords, right? Yeah. With well, your have... expertise and all those kinds of things? Yeah. Well, there's like a little... Um, Barometer, and it'll tell you 15% filled out. Oh, right, right. In other words, make use of all the, the spaces. Yes. yes. Make sure that's key, actually, um, to get found and to find people, is to have it filled out 100%. Mm -hmm. Small tip. Uh, once you have it filled out 100%, then uh, my other tip is yeah, think about SEO, search engine optimization. Mm -hmm. um, maybe do a preliminary search of the people who are in your category. Let's say that you are a golf instructor. Uh, you want to search before you fill out your profile and look at what other golf instructors are saying about themselves, the keywords that you're, they're using, and maybe one thing you can do is you know, do something a little bit different, mm -hmm. right? Not get piled in with you know, all the rest. And you can use keywords to differentiate yourself. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, another little tip. Once you find out what other people are doing and you feel comfortable with what you've put in there, um, my next tip is to join a group or to create a group. So you can join or create a group uh, up to 50 on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. Again, it's all free. I don't really recommend paying for LinkedIn services. Um, you can pay 50 bucks a month and you have the ability to do all kinds of bells and whistles. I don't recommend that. I actually recommend staying with a free system because I think you can do everything you need to do without shelling We love that money. because we know we're always trying to save money. So that's great. Yeah. Penny save, right. penny earn. Uh, so if you join a group, for example, why would you do that? Um, you want to maybe meet someone. Let's say I want to meet, um, you know, Richard Branson. Well, it's going to be really difficult. To and by the way, here. if you know Brian, he will meet Richard Branson. <laughs> <laughs> He's on the hook. He's uh, very smart. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's on the hook. <laughs> well, to get to Richard, there's several layers, you know, mm -hmm. deep layers. Right. But, but um, you know, if, if you find out who's connected to Richard, LinkedIn has got kind of like, you know, whatever, six degrees separation of Kevin Bacon. You know, there's this whole right, thing. Right, right. LinkedIn uses the same kind of degrees of separation. And um, if, you get, if you find the right person, um, you might know someone who knows someone who knows someone. You could probably uh, get to Richard that way via the group. So mm -hmm. you join the group that that person's in and you uh, can reach out to them. Or the other tactic is to establish yourself as an expert. Let's say you wanted to get noticed by the executives or decision makers in that group. Mm -hmm. You know that they're in there because when you do the keyword search for them, you can see their profile, their background, their work history, and what groups they belong to. Right, right. Join similar groups. Uh huh. Then um, start seeding those discussion boards with valuable content. Not with marketing messages or trying to sell your crap. Mm -hmm. um, like valuable content, whether it's reposting someone else's mm -hmm. content, which you find valuable, or the, your own custom created content, start seeding it. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, it might get on their radar. That's sort of the slow approach, but if you wanted to be more direct, you could within the group reach out to them uh, directly 
and it wouldn't cost you any money. You've got that commonality, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. LinkedIn allows you to do it.